Hello, I'm Jitender from The Office Guys Tutorials and in this video, I'm going to show you how can you create an animated business model slide using PowerPoint. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So let me just show you what we're going to do. So here we have a slide and once you press the keyboard, you can see very smoothly the text boxes are coming and they're very nicely organized and how to make how to choose colors and all and this is the concern of today's tutorials so without any further delay let me take a new slide so i'll have taken a new slide by pressing ctrl and n on the keyboard and let me just right click here layout and let me take a blank layout next let me just come up here and i will just copy out this color schemes press ctrl c on the keyboard and ctrl v here now you might be wondering how i have choose these colors for that open your browser and you can write gradient and uh, the first link that you are seeing UI gradients once loaded you can click on show all gradients and there you have you have a lot of gradients out here and you can choose one that suits you so I have taken these six colors so let me just show you what what is what we're going to do before we start doing designing this template there are a couple of things that i want to bring to your notice that you should always consider in your mind these are the first thing is font now coming up to the fonts you can see this is my uh, this is the main slide that i've shown you before and what if if you change the font of this slide now this is times new roman now you can see the, the feeling of the slide is completely gone now this is the one I have designed and this is with the Times New Roman. So that shows how important a font can be to give you the exact feeling that you're looking for. Next thing is color scheme. So whenever we are designing anything, the color should not be too harsh like dark red, black like that. They should be very gentle in nature. So that's why I have, I have taken some shades of blue, uh, pink and orange shades and yellow because these are light in nature. So let's just start doing this uh, real quick. Here's a new slide and I will come to under rectangle option. I'll take the second option here, right, rounded corners and I will drag it here like this. I'll come to format option and I'll give a dimensions of seven by seven. I just want it to be a square and I'll just press control and drag it. And now where you want to just do a positioning, you can keep it and make sure uh, yeah, this is center and you just keep it like this and you can see it guiding me that these three are at equal distance so i'm comfortable with that and i'll go with that in case you are unable to do that wherever you want to keep it you just select all the three and you can click align and distribute horizontally so that's going to be di distributed horizontally but let me just go with the way i was going next so let's just quickly color these shapes so I will right click on any of the shape and come to format shape under the fill tab. I'll come to gradient fill. Now let me just delete these two. So I will click on this top and I'll delete here or otherwise you can just click and move it down. That will be deleted. Next select the first top and come to eyedropper and choose the first color and similar way do for the second. Now I'm going to make this rotation by 45 degree or I, I want it to go. Uh, I want the darker side to be this side and the lighter side to be on the top side. So you can see the preview here. So I think for me, this one is suitable bottom left to top right. Okay. So this goes very nicely. Come to shape outline and I don't want any outline to be there. Similar way, we are going to color the other two, but just to save the time. I am fast forwarding the video here. Welcome back. So I have done the coloring part. Now it's time to take some text boxes. So let me just quickly come here and you can see I have a couple of icons here. And so let me just quickly copy these text boxes. Okay. I'll just press control C on the keyboard and paste it here. So I'll just place it right over here and just let me just drag it real quick so this goes here and this goes here 
and next let me just copy this text also and if you want to make it uh, your own way so you can take a text box and you can drag anything here you can take the text box and you can just drag the text box over here and press ctrl v to paste the text and now i'm going to press ctrl a to select all the text and i'm going to reduce text size now 11 or 10 looks fine to me or 10.5 this sounds good make sure you select both of the text boxes come to text options under the text box you make all the margins to zero okay let me just delete these two because anyway we'll be replacing the same with that and let me just match the text box with the boundary of this one yeah looks good i'll just drag it a little bit down now come to insert option you have an option called icons so let me just take uh, any icon as of now so let me just take a uh, icon uh, let's say example target something uh, some trend here and uh, some analysis so let's say this so i'll just click insert and i have all the icons i'll come to graphic fill and i'll fill white color but for now i'm filling some dark color so that we can at least see let me first copy the text to the other boxes so i'll just press ctrl and drag so the text that I have written is collaborate, analyze and grow. So I'll just uh, copy paste the text here. Press control V and grow. Anyway, it's a small text. So I'll just type in grow. So this looks fine related to growth. And I'll just change this color to white and I'll just reduce its size and place it over here. Good next analyze so this appears to be something relevant to analyze because we are uh, it's like a lens and we are looking for something so once again i will change its fill color to white and i will just quickly place it over here now collaborate i want uh, uh, some sort of icon where uh, there are two people or this in fact shows collaborations so i will take this icon and i'm going to place it over here and let me just quickly change the graphic fill to white color very good so here we are almost done with the overall theme now i'm going to take a text box and i'll change the text to open sense open sense is a very nice font it is available to download for free on google fonts you can go and download Otherwise, the link is given in the description box also. Coming up next, let me just type in some text over here. I press Ctrl E to center the text. And uh, let me just type in your text or your heading goes here. And let me just quickly increase the size of this text and make it bold. And uh, if you're unable to center it in the slide, I will just suggest to come to format option, align and make sure align to slide is selected and just align center so right now it's exactly in the center of the slide now once this is done you can see now i'm going to keep a couple of text boxes in the bottom like this so just to save the time so i'm just copying from here and i'm just pressing ctrl v to paste it over here once again if you're not able to center i'll come to format option and align to slide and then align to center so if you see we are overall done with the theme now the couple of things how to make this kind of uh, boxes here right we have some shapes over here this gives some additional uh, feeling to the slide so these things are very easy to do you have something called curve option okay i have recently used that's why i have here otherwise you can find it in the lines tab this option curve okay so let me just quickly draw some curves so i will click here here okay somewhere here and then somewhere here and i'll just quickly uh, I'll just click once here and i will save this okay now what i'm going to do is i'll come to insert shape and i'll take a rectangle so what essentially i'm going to do is i'm going to trim out the excessive shape okay so i will select this and this make sure you make a copy of this rectangle otherwise you again you need to take another rectangle so select these two come to format options merge shapes and click subtract similar way you can do once again 
you reduce the size and you can keep it here now you might be wondering how i'll come to know about the boundary of this so for that what i'm going to do i'll click here under the format shape option i'm just reducing its transparency temporarily and then i will keep my box over here okay so yeah that looks fine and i'll extend it over the entire range so select this and this and come to format options and click subtract now once again we have to reduce uh, remove from this side also so i'll just click here also so from here make sure that you align it properly yes select the two and click subtract with this we have a very good shape over here and now you can if you want to increase or decrease the transparency it's all up to you let me just quickly give it a very uh, like gray color to this and click send to back and now you can remove its outline if you feel it's too light what you can do you can increase its color a bit creating the second shape also will be the similar kind of step so once again i will take the curve options and i'll keep here somewhere here here and like this okay that looks fine and now once again i'll just change its color to something darker and if you want to increase the transparency a bit and remove the shape outline and click send to back and once again click this also send to back now you have some sort of thing going on let me just show you the preview so it's something like this but i feel this is going getting too dark but before that let me just remove its excess part so i'll just remove it so this this minus this and subtract once again i will take a box so this minus this subtract and once again i will take a box over here and subtract the two and let me just quickly change its transparency i will increase the transparency yeah now it looks fine uh the somehow it's quite relevant now let me just see uh, its preview how it looks on slide very nice now our slide design is ready now we are good to go to animate this now before i animate I want couple of things to group so I will select this shape and I'll press control G similar way I will select this box and I'll press control G and this control G with this grouping of objects it will be very easy for me to move the objects while animation so next right click on the slide here click duplicate slide now we have exactly duplicate and make sure on the second slide you make it morph okay so on the second slide transition morph now i will press control and and scroll down the mouse wheel and i will take all these three shapes down while moving down the text boxes you want to make sure that you always press and hold the shift key so that you take down the things exactly vertically next move this text boxes like this and the similar way you take these two also and move it here and just make some distance between two now so once that is done what you can do is you click on the first also and click morph okay and just move the slide number 2 on its first place so now we are good to go to see the final preview and let me press f5 on the keyboard now let's press arrow key and you can see we have a very nice animation going on So that's all guys for today's tutorial. I hope you like this video and if you find useful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make a lot of word excellent powerpoint videos like this that will be useful for you. So please do appreciate and show your love and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. By the time stay inside and stay safe. Thank you.